Today on Mana Studio, using main stage for your church keyboard. Welcome to Mana Studio. My name is Nathan, and with me as always is my tech director and keyboard specialist, Ronald. So today we're gonna to talk about what main stage can do for your keys. I will have four of these videos coming out about main stage. Um, today is keys, and then we also have one coming up about electronic drums through main stage, backing tracks, and electric guitar. So these are all things that main stage could be used for on your church worship team. But today we're just gonna look at how you can use main stage for keys. And I'm not gonna go into detail about like how to use it and how to set up all the details of patches. I just want these to be an overview, just kind of going through the sounds and just so you can get an idea of what you can actually do with main stage and what it sounds like. Here's our basic setup. Um, all you'll need if you want to try out main stage in your church for keys is a laptop, a Macintosh specifically. Um, Macintosh, what is this, 1997? A MacBook. So you just need the MacBook with main stage and a USB keyboard. Um, you can get these very cheap. This is a 49 key, very cheap one. This is like a $99 keyboard. It's kind of your very most basic USB keyboard. And they go up in price and specs from there. Uh, you can get a decent one for church in like 61 to 88 keys with some extra kind of control knobs and pads and such for I would say 300 to 400 is a really good mark for a professional USB controller. Now you can spend way more than that, but you probably don't need to. But if you're okay with 49 non-weighted keys, you can just get a simple $99 keyboard and it's going to make the exact same sounds because the sounds aren't coming from this, they're coming from main stage. So let's get started, see what we got. I'm just gonna start with, um, a simple electric piano. So I'm gonna go through lots of different sounds you can use, and there's tons of sounds on main stage, so this is just a little sampling. So we have, this is a classic electric piano, just to give you an idea of what this can do. And I should warn you that I am not a piano player at all. I'm a guitar player. I can't play the piano. I can just play basic chords and such. So this is just for the sounds. Please don't judge my playing. I'm just showing you what it sounds like. So that's an electric piano. One of many electric pianos you can choose from. Um, you can also do fun things like, here's a jazz organ. Sounds like a detective novel from the 40s. Really cool sound. Don't know if you'd use that in church or not, but then of course we have pianos, which every keyboardist needs is a good piano. Um, there's, I think main stage comes with three different grand piano sounds, um, and they're all pretty decent. I'll give you the two main ones that I would use here. This is the Yamaha. Yamaha and there's this here's the Steinway Grand Piano. So that was the Yamaha and Steinway, and I don't have a um uh, sustain with the pedal hooked up, but you can easily hook up a sustain pedal on one of these keyboards as well. So those are two of the grand pianos, and then we also have a grand piano and pad. And I got this to show you that you can actually do multiple sounds on one patch, which is really cool. You can stack a lot of instruments on top of each other, so if you want to play a piano and pad on the same keyboard, you can like this. Probably 
Probably not the um, pad sound I would use, but you can choose whatever instrument you want to go on there. You could stack five more instruments on top of that if you wanted to. You could also split the keyboard like we have here with the vibes and bass. And by the way, these are all just stock patches that come with the main stage program I'm, I'm using here. So this splits the keyboard, so my bass is an upright bass. And my uh, top of the keyboard's vibes. So you can do like a... Fun, fun to play around with, and in worship, you probably don't want that sound unless you got a jazz trio going on. But you could stack like a, a, a bass synth on this side and maybe pads on the top, or maybe you want to do a lead line on piano, but you want to keep a synth going on the bass side, you can do that as well. So really versatile. And then we get into some of the more uh, strange sounds, shall we say. Um, so here's some cellos, you can do strings. Sound pretty good. Digital strings always sound digital, but you got strings there. Those are nice to add to like low droning pads and kind of turn the volume on down on them. That can really sound good. Here we have a harp. I'm really impressed with how good their harp sounds. Sleep there. That's nice. <laughs> you want your worship to sound like you're getting a massage, I guess you can use that one. Uh, no, that's a really good sound. I really like that harp. Um, and of course, you know, for all you traditionalists out there, gotta throw in the organ. <laughs> that was a little dissonant. So, so there's that organ. If you use an organ in your church, you're probably not going to use a main stage for it, but you know what? You could. Uh, you can do horns. Here's a saxophone, an alto sax. <laughs> I'm moving my hand like a guitar to get tremolo. That's not going to do anything. <laughs> So now we're going to get to the thing that a lot of churches use main stitch for, and that's synths and synth pads. And the reason is because you can get incredible synth pads and droning sounds and layered synth atmospheric sounds from main stage, again, for 30 bucks. So that's why a lot of churches use it for that, and it does really well. I'm going to show you a couple. These next two I'm going to show you are actually free patches I downloaded from third-party sites. Uh, which again, I'll have a video coming out showing where you, you where I got these from. But main stage, in my opinion, does not come with a lot of great pre-made patch presets, if you will. But the sounds are there. So you can download other people's presets to use, uh, which I would recommend. So these are two I've downloaded, just to give you an idea of what, what pads can sound like on this. Here's another pretty similar pad. So those are a couple pad sounds that I downloaded. Again, you can dig deep and get into all kinds of sounds 
on here. You can also do other sorts of synth sounds. Here's a couple that actually reminded me of Stranger Things. These are presets actually in um, main stage, but they reminded me of Stranger Things a little bit if you're a Stranger Things fan. Right, you're picturing a Demi Gorgon right now, aren't you? So those are some fun 80, 80s pads, or maybe you want to make some house music. I need a beat here. I got a beat in my head. Then finally I have one to show you uh, two other things. One is to show you how many you can actually stack on each other. You can see there's um, six sounds stacked on top of each other on this one. And then also this uses a arpeggiator. Arpeggiator, did I say that right? So that just um, in a way plays the notes or scale for you. Uh, let me give you an example. So I just hold down a key and it does that. And you could actually program that um, and kind of picture like a drum machine where you put the boxes and the beats you want but with notes and scales, and you can dictate what it actually plays when you press a key. So you could have it go through a whole scale up and down, or fifths, or thirds, or whatever you want. Which can actually be really useful for worship music if you just kind of want a background scale going on. You might not want to use that exact giant orchestral sound, but you can get really cool sounds using an arpeggiator. So that is really just an overview of the sounds you can get for keys, and that is just some of them. There's tons of sound. You can adjust each sound you want yourself, and if you're interested in learning like all the nitty gritty on how to do everything in main stage, there's tons of great videos for that. There's also um, courses online that you can download. Some you can pay for, some for free, some video, some text, some audio. Tons of resources online to learn more about main stage. Hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to Mono Studio so you can see more videos just like this, including three more about other instruments you can use with Mainstage. And I will see you back here next week.